3811. So now the Wall Street Journal piece is being spread like uh, like BS uh, out in the fields there because uh, the Praetorian Guard media believe that they have a hook now. That this text message uh, from Page to Stroke saying that POTUS essentially wanted everything we're working on. Wasn't related to the Hillary Clinton emails. Okay, fine. But it was related to what the Russians were doing in our campaign. And then our friends at CNS News did a little bit of digging. So, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You're being spun, Wall Street Journal. Three days before that text... On August 30, 2016, it's important, three days before the text, the Democrats in the House wrote a very aggressive letter demanding that the FBI investigate Trump in this supposed Russian collusion. Let me read it to you again. This is three days before the text. The text at issue here, POTUS wants to know everything we're doing. POTUS wants to know everything we're doing. That's September 2nd, three days before, August 30. The Democrats in the House write, quote, based on multiple press reports, it appears that the FBI is investigating whether Russia executed cyber attacks against the DNC and the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee that resulted in the illegal hacking of a wide range of emails and other documents. Okay. So what are the Democrats asking the FBI? We are writing to request that the FBI assess whether the connections between Trump campaign officials and Russian interests may have contributed to these attacks in order to interfere with the U.S. presidential election. So they're pushing this collusion issue to the FBI. And they're basing it on, and by the way, this letter was public. You know how they do it. They put it out in the form of a press release, give it to the media, and the media run with it. No doubt Obama saw it. Serious questions have been raised about overt and covert actions by Trump campaign officials on behalf of Russian interests. Remember, this propaganda was being pushed even long before August 30, 2016, in the lead up to the general election. They go on. It is critical for the American public to know whether those actions may have directly caused or indirectly motivated attacks against democratic institutions in our fundamental election process. So three days, August 30th, before this text, that letter was written. POTUS wants to know everything we're doing. But there's another question here, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I've been patting ourselves on the head and look I said it for it. let's think these things through if POTUS wanted to know everything about the Russian investigation everything about the Russian investigation at some point at some point would have included the FISA application would have included the FISA warrant wouldn't it? of course so The FBI didn't provide Barack Obama with any subsequent information whatsoever, even if you buy this gibberish. He lost interest in it. He no longer wanted to know from the FBI exactly what was going on. Are we to believe, ladies and gentlemen, that the director of the FBI conducting a counterintelligence national security investigation where a member of Trump world, a putative member of Trump world, is accused in federal court, the FISA court, of being a Russian agent? Are we to believe that information was kept from the White House? Of course not. When I played for you my comments on Fox and Friends on March 5th, 2017, I explained back then that that information wouldn't have been kept from the President of the United States, wouldn't have been kept from his staff. Why would it be? And you have an Attorney General of the United States, Loretta Lynch, who went so far as to meet with Bill Clinton on the tarmac at the Phoenix airport. She thought it was secret. Local reporters caught them. She lied about the reasons for that meeting. She said they were talking about their grandchildren, when in fact she was tipping off Clinton that his wife was in the clear. 
I mean, they have tried to pull wool over our eyes time and time again, and I'm not surprised by this latest Wall Street Journal piece by Dal Quinton Wilbur, in which he is burping up the information leaked to him by anonymous sources who are close to Stroke and Page to try and interpret for us what that text meant. But he has his timelines wrong. Does Delton Del Quinton Wilbur? As CNS points out, hey, look, three days before that text, the Democrats in the House wrote this letter demanding that the FBI open investigation of the Trump campaign officials and their supposed interests in Russia <clears throat> and the supposed collusion that took place. That's the timeline. Why are we to believe leakers now who have as friends and associates struck and page? Why, why would the media just swallow that, digest it, and burp it up to you and me? Because it's par for the course. It's par for the course. And now the Wall Street Journal point has been repeated. I saw on the all-star panel on Fox, one of the liberals there repeated it. It's being brought up over and over again. But the Wall Street Journal reported, the Wall Street Journal, who cares? They're wrong. CNS News is right. And we need to know. And then we have the State Department. Information being fed, laundered through the State Department. Again, <clears throat> these are official channels of government. Official channels of government. Absolutely incredible, isn't it? Now, Obama has denied ever getting involved in any investigations. Well, clearly then, when he asked for all the information on the Russia probe, he's at least gathering information on it. I don't disagree that he should. But that's not what he told Chris Wallace on the Fox News Sunday show, April 2016. Cut seven, go. Mr. President, when you say what you've just said, when Josh Ernest said, as he did your spokesman in January, the information from the Justice Department is she's not a target. Some people, I think, are worried whether or not the decision, whether or not how to handle the case, will be made on political grounds, not legal grounds. Can you guarantee to the American people, can you direct the Justice Department to say Hillary Clinton will be treated as the evidence goes, she will not be in any way protected? I can guarantee that. And, and I can guarantee that not because I give... Uh, Attorney General Lynch a directive that is institutionally how we have always operated I do not talk to the Attorney General about pending investigations I do not talk to FBI directors about uh, pending investigations the uh, we have a straight well, yes you do you just asked for it. if you f even follow the Wall Street Journal uh, you asked for POTUS wants to know everything we're doing on the Russian investigation Again, I don't have a problem with that, but I think it's, it's a generic matter. But I think as it came to Trump world, I'm saying he knew a hell of a lot more than than's being let on. As of today, let me put it to you this way. There is absolutely no curiosity in big media about what Obama knew and when he knew it. None. As of today, if the world ends today, as far as we know, Barack Obama knew nothing, nothing about what was taking place in his FBI, his Justice Department, his State Department, his national security apparatus. He knew absolutely nothing. As of today, that's the reporting, nothing. He didn't know anything because we didn't ask him. We're not pressing it. Again, there's a reason why the Democrats are in full leftist mode. Give a damn about the FBI. You don't give a damn about Comey. Before Comey was fired, he was the devil. Then Trump fires him. Now he's an angel, and they want to use him to get Trump. And same with Mueller. They don't care about Mueller. They just want Mueller to, uh, to get Trump's scout. That's all they care about. Go ahead. The line. Uh, and always have maintained it, previous so, president. Ju just to button this up. You, I guarantee it. You, I guarantee that there is no political influence in any investigation conducted by the Justice Department or the FBI. Well, there was. 
We know from Stroke and Page's texts that they were highly political. So much so that Stroke had to be removed. We know this is a matter of fact. And he guaranteed otherwise. We've had other little problems with Obama and his administration, the IRS. In modern times, in modern times, the IRS has never been unleashed against political opponents the way the IRS was unleashed against conservatives and Tea Party groups. We still haven't gotten to the bottom of that because of the Praetorian Guard media protecting Obama and his administration. We still haven't gotten to the bottom of that. And despite all their howling about gun control, it's the first and hopefully the last administration to actually arm Mexican drug gangs. They were arming Mexican drug gangs so they could track weapons? What? Resulting in the murder of one of our heroes, our Border Patrol agents. We never got to the bottom of that either. Eric Holder clammed up, he was held in contempt, and that was that. There's a lot of that stuff that's going on in this administration. 